GAIN was set up in 2002. It's a Swiss foundation to tackle the human suffering caused by malnutrition. And we work in many countries across the world to support governments and peoples and businesses to reduce malnutrition. Mission is to improve the consumption of healthy diets by making nutritious, safe food more available, more desirable and, and more affordable for people. Uh, our strategy as an organization um, has some targets within it and we have set ourselves the target of reaching 1.5 billion people globally with nutrient and rich staples. In Nigeria we've worked um, for many years since 2007. We set up an office here about 2011 and the work that we do cuts across many different um, areas of uh, intervention. Uh, well, one of those areas of intervention is a project that we call uh, Strengthening Nutrition and Priority Staples or SNPs. We conceived SNPs um, a few years ago to bring a nutrition focus to work that was being done in the country context on staples. And when we say staples, we mean the foods that people consume regularly like maize or cassava, rice, potato. And over time, some of these staples have been developed to have uh, much more nutritious varieties of them on the market. So for maize, we have vitamin A maize, uh, which means that vitamin A has been bred into the maize to make it available for those who are consuming to improve their micronutrient status. Uh, and the same with cassava, where we have vitamin A cassava, and also orange flesh with potato. Uh, which also has vitamin A. And so SNPs was uh, conceived uh, to focus on these priority staples as well as rice, but to, like you say, had a nutrition lens to them. So we're working with farmers who are producing uh, these staples to help them to increase uh, the amount of these staples that they bring to the market. So increase their productivity, but also move away from producing the analog versions of these staples to the vitamin A enriched versions. So we are promoting the consumption of um, vitamin A cassava, vitamin A maize, and orange flesh sweet potato under this project. The project is a five-year project. We started in 2021. We have three components in this project. In no particular order, they are the biofortification component, the business support component, and the workforce nutrition component. All these components are supposed to work together to help us achieve our overall goal, which is the production and consumption of safe and nutritious foods. You know, people just have to key into it based on the advocacy, you know, we have to train them. When we go for community sensitization, we also tell them that, well, what we have here, this is the economic benefit, this is the nutritional benefit. So as they have accepted it, we now give them new three new varieties that we are promoting. We have the headmaster, we have the no hunger, and we have the security. These are three latest varieties. We call them Umukas 52, Umukas 53, and Umukas 54. Umudike cassava, that is what it meant. So we have these uh, three new varieties that we are now deploying, uh, supporting our farmers with it. Nutrition has been tied with cognition, it has been tied with concentration, it has been tied with performance of work. So it is important that our workforce, they are well nourished. And this is what we do in the SNPs Workforce Nutrition. So far, we have been able to improve the demand for nutritious foods, uh, particularly biofortified crops like vitamin A maize, vitamin A cassava, orange fresh sweet potato, amongst these farmers and farm workers. And we have launched the Social and Behavior Change Campaign to help to promote the awareness and also to generate that demand amongst people for these biofortified crops. We want our farmers, we want our farm workers, even though they produce for the entire nation, we also want them to prioritize their health. We want them to prioritize their well-being by consuming well-nourishing food. Basically, what we do is to promote the commercialization of biofortified food. So think, Vitamin A cassava, think vitamin A maize, orange flesh sweet potato, 
um, and turn those products into all those food crops into amazing food products so bread cake gari lafun you name it from the traditional things you consume to um big goods at the supermarket we do all of those things with the bio 45 foods um the micro grant funding is designed to support businesses that are commercializing bio 45 foods it's important that we recognize them because we understand some of the peculiarities about the value chains that we're working in as well as the food product or the crops that we're working with right and so this innovation or this micro grant is supposed to help them to scale up their intervention to scale up their business operation so that they can actually meet the demand so they can produce more safe and nutritious food and so the work we do in SNPs is directly connected to ensuring that we deliver on the strategy of gain globally but also uh, within the Nigerian context.